Hello everyone, I'm Adamo with CopLock.org. As some of you may know, I was recently indicted on three counts of felony wiretapping for recording public officials without their consent. I've been thinking long and hard about my strategy for these frivolous charges. Should I go with a lawyer and legal defense team, play their game and hope to remain free at the end of the day? Or should I go about it alone, speak the truth, and hope the saying, And the truth shall set you free! still has meaning. To be honest, I'm still unsure what to do. But what I do know is I need your help. Since funding either option is difficult for me on my own, I've partnered with NeverTakeAPlea.org and I'm asking folks to contribute to the PayPal chip in below. If you'd like to see me hire a lawyer and go the defensive strategy route, please indicate that in the comment area when sending your donations. Or if you'd like to see me go it alone, the offensive tactic, indicate that as well. Once the donations are collected, including video, intro, and outro spots, as well as power posts, I'll be able to decide which is more realistic for me to do. I'd like to see some form of both happen, but there is heavy cost with that. As a person who prides themselves on being independently thrifty, spending that amount of money on the state or in defense to the state bothers me. Nevertheless, here's what each tactic will include, as well as my pros and cons to each. The defensive angle. The lawyers I've talked with say it will take $4,000 to $6,000 to represent me. This would include all pretrial activity, including motions to suppress, evidence, witness lists, and more. This also includes representing me for the complete trial, though this could become more if appeals are needed. The pros to this are that the court won't be able to throw my motions, evidence, and witness lists aside without actually having them heard in the courtroom and on the record. Also, a lawyer would make a better legal argument than I because I don't know law. The lawyers I've talked with are experienced in wiretapping and have won cases here before, so that is also a plus. The cons to hiring attorneys is that it's a lot of money. Pete and I could spend months in Mar for $6,000 traveling around and promoting liberty to thousands of people. Also, it's a step back as far as my principles are concerned. How can I expect people to say no to the man slash system when I so willingly give in and use state assisters? Although at the end of the day, a lawyer might be the best option considering the Manchester police and justice system have it out for me. The offensive angle. I think if Pete and I, as well as several other activists, focus on highlighting this case, it would cost around $3,000, but could be done for a lot less. The money would be spent on flyers, DVDs, posters, and video creation. It would also help with subsidizing the transportation costs to Manchester, which is an hour from where I live, and for those assisting me in editing and shooting video. It'll also help us by having funds to hold public events. The pros of this, in my opinion, are that the actions of the Manchester Police Department and West High School staff will be highlighted. Even if they cage me for these actions, we will put theirs on display. Folks will see, more now than ever, that my prosecution isn't about making victims whole, but about sweeping actions of those who claim to be public officials under the rug. The court of public opinion is very powerful, and at times has stopped lengthy court cases before they even start by appealing to public pressure. Though there's no guarantees of this, it is my one and only con, is that it has little to no guarantee of helping me get a not guilty verdict. I'll still be at the mercy of the state while in their courtroom playing by their rules. That being said, I'll leave the choice whether to donate to my defensive or offensive causes to you. Because unlike the state, you have a choice when whether or not you donate to me. And I'll publish frequent updates on money raised, where it was used, and ideas to be done with the remaining funds. At a bare minimum, I'll be in court speaking the truth. Thanks. Just got out of jail at the DNC. Sun is shining, smiles are high. Thanks to both my friends in the courtroom. 8 a.m. Got a lawyer at my back. We ain't scared, that's a fact. No respect for people's rights. Why should we play when we can fight and get in court? Change the law, that's our movement. What would it be regarding? Uh, I have a few questions for regarding a video that's online of um, the police liaison officer slamming a 17 year old kid to. Uh, a cafeteria table. See, this is why I'm taping this right here. No, see this right here? This is why I'm taping this. Uh, yes, I was calling to uh, see if there was a comment about a video that is surfacing online of Detective uh, Murphy slamming a 17-year-old child to the uh, on top of a table. I haven't seen the video. Oh. Where is it? Uh, it is on a website called copblock.org. Oh, okay. I'll take a look. Well, Thanks. are you... Hello? <laughs> in the streets, organized.